Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. For everyone, it's beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, a short tea update. I hope you really enjoyed yesterday's video of the beautiful Thailand Phuket and how I spent bitcoins and it a Bitcoin bar in Phuket. Really cool. But now, TA shortly, eight minutes. Let's quickly jump into the charts. The first chart would be, let's see, um, over here, this one. Yes, then my fist turns smaller. On this chart, you can see the day chart, guys. I'm not gonna zoom in into the small time frames at the moment because I don't give a fuck about the small time frames. I wanna see what the bigger picture of Bitcoin is. And the bigger picture of Bitcoin is that if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that the dotted white line is a very important line. And I've been telling you this already for months now that this line would be the resistance. And if we break it, then I start to draw the yellow line, we will retest a certain volume level, come back to retest that downward trend line and then try to break up again. And that is what we call the golden cross, cross on the day chart. Now the 50 is crossing the 200 at this moment. And every time, like I said in uh, last week's video, when it happens, yes, the golden cross happens, Bitcoin pulls back a little bit and then it explodes. So we can see that we at the moment found and touch that dotted white line and now we are trying to work ourselves upwards again and follow that yellow line that I drew on it already four weeks ago so uh, yeah that is going to hunt again for a 24k if we break that dotted white trend line then we visit back here all the way this red line at 19,700 in my opinion of course first the green and then the red but you know how it goes and that's how it, um, how bitcoin moves so these lines are support and resistance uh, throughout bitcoin's history and will be supporting resistance and the uh, Bitcoin futures, in my opinion, as well. Now, in the weekly, we can see exactly the same, but now the opposite. In the weekly, we saw a downward trend line. You know, we broke up, we are retesting it. But in the weekly, we can see the green line crossing that red line to the downside. That is what we call a dead cross. And a dead cross has never happened before um, in the Bitcoin charts, not on a weekly time frame. That is what I've been saying already now for weeks we have never seen this before in 2015 we came close but we just went up again but we also never saw bitcoin breaking the 200 weekly moving average before so that is in line with that dead cross at the moment because that 200 weekly was not broken ever and now we went even to the 300 weekly so for me this dead cross is not something strange there's something that you could expect because that we broke that 200 weekly moving average and even the 300 weekly moving average. Is this going to be very like harmful for Bitcoin? No, I think in my opinion, we are still in, um, that, in that upward movement to a new high that we now created. We made it create a higher low. We are going to create a higher high and again, a higher low. And that's how Bitcoin slowly moves um, out of the bear market. So for me, that higher low should be now here at that level around that dollar line. We are there. That means we can go sideways a little bit below it, a little bit above it, and then again go up again for that higher high. That's how Bitcoin has been moving in history and how it will keep moving in my opinion. Zooming out a little bit more uh, is on the monthly. On the monthly, this chart I already drew up like a, a year ago almost, and I told you at that point, look, these are the bigger Bitcoin um, cycles. And these bigger Bitcoin cycles and numbers on the screen show you exactly uh, what to expect from Bitcoin because it is a four year cycle and it is repeating. It's rhyming how they say it. And it's not completely the same, but still the numbers are adding up. Look, only the first one after the halving, the first top was after 12 months. The second top, top after the halving was after 17 months. The third top after the halving was after 17 months. If the next top also will be 17 months after the halving, we arrive in August, September 2025. And also the other numbers. The bottom to the next top was 35 bars. The bottom to the next bar top was 34 bars. If the bottom to the next top will decrease again with one bar, it will be 33 bars, also ending in August 2025. The bottom to the halving was 18 bars. The second time, the bottom to the halving, 17 bars. The third time, the bottom to the halving is only 16 bars. Everything is in line. The bottom to the new all-time high, because that's what you're guessing now, when will we break that all-time high? The first time, it took 27 bars, 821 days. The second time, it took 24 bars, so that's 3 bars less. 730 days and now this third time that's still a question but if we would 
decrease in the same number of bars, 27, 24, to 21 or 22, that would take all the way till September 24 before we create a new halving, which would mean that the Bitcoin price would be going up like this, a little bit slowly, and uh, here, and then somewhere in September 24, be higher than this never level, something like that. And then after that, of course, yes, blow off top, bam, down again, and the same thing again, 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 but then beautifully drawn. Now, that is what I think. Guys, if you want to trade all of it, then click on the links down below my video. You will get access to my private sign-up page to Bybit because you can see the exclusive benefits and rewards if you use my link. $30 for just signing up, 30K bonus, depending on how much you deposit, 0% spot trading trees, and you have a 1 million lucky draw and a $200,000 trading competition. Uh, you can see how to claim the rewards, everything on that dedicated sign up page now. Click down below the video. Now, let's jump into two more charts that I think is really important for a lot of you that are like under 30 years old. And why? Because of this. Check this. Very important. Bam. This is the first one. The first one is that yes, you should be using Bitcoin as money because we can see that Bitcoin is being used as money and it's all on the Lightning Network. Yesterday, I was in this beautiful bar. They didn't accept Lightning Network. Sadly, they didn't accept Lightning Network. They just uh, connected MetaMask and then you could pay from your MetaMask. But that means that I can't pay with my normal Bitcoin. So you need to use Red BTC, which I don't want. I want to use Bitcoin on the Lightning Network. And we can see that the Lightning Network has been growing tremendously. We now have 5,534 Bitcoins on the Lightning Network, and that means they are being used to do transactions. That's why they are on the Lightning Network, because they are used for payments, fee-less payments that are really fast. Now, the Lightning Network is going to be tremendously popular during the next bull run, in my opinion, and also in the next 10 years, because people are going to use it more and more as money. And why did I say this part of you would be more interesting for uh, the young people? Bam, because of this. You guys, for example, um, are this generation over here, the millennials, these guys are being fucked. Because if you look to the baby boomers that were my parents, you know, almost 50% of them, they owned a house. And if we look at Generation X, that's my generation, here, bam, almost 25% of them owned a house around 40 to 50 years. And now here, we have the millennials, they don't own shit. Even when they are 30, they own less than 10% of them owns a house. And why is that? Not only because they choose uh, to live the lifestyle that we are living, digital nomads, flexibility is a new stability, uh, but also for other reasons, the reasons of inflation. Because those inflations are fucking killing those people. Um, why? Not killing like in death, but <laughs> killing them financially, I mean. Uh, why? Because if you look at the inflation in the last years, Look how much inflation they all went through, that whole generation. That's like a shitload of inflation in total, guys. Every year was more expensive. An average is 2%, they said that they tell us. And this, these are the official inflation numbers, of course, uh, by Eurostat. So they tell us the average was 2%. But that average is quickly going to change that if, we, if we include these last couple of uh, months and everything and years, guys. Because here, 10%, almost 12%. You know, I, I don't believe these numbers completely. I think they are way higher. But I'm using the official numbers just to show you that every year, an average became 2.5% more expensive. So 10 times 2.5% means that your life in 10 years' time became 25% more expensive expensive in 20 years 50% more expensive and in 30 years almost like 75% more expensive that is what the euros do when they are in your bank account your euros are in a bank account and everything in life becomes more expensive so you can buy less and less and less for those euros now that is why all those young people should watch these videos and bam go in here go in bitcoin why in bitcoin guys again you don't zoom in on the smaller time frames ah bitcoin is crashing ah bitcoin is pumping zoom in in the bigger time frame the 10 year cagr 97 percent aka times 1.97 per year that's completely different than 2% less, 2% less, 2% less, 2% less, 2% less. That would mean in 10 years time, in, in inflation, that would be almost 25% less. And in Bitcoin, it's 97% per year more. That's a huge difference. That is why you should be in Bitcoin. And yes, 
we are on the dollar line and yes we are above it again and yes we are going to create a new all-time high and yes that new all-time high again is multiply your capital that you put in bitcoin now near that bottom by a neck by a factor of four five six seven eight that is how you fight inflation and that is what you all should be bam doing in my opinion Stop believing all those banks, uh, central entities, the governments, they just don't want the best for you. We, the people, want the best for you. And that's why we are educating you every day on YouTube to understand why you should be in Bitcoin with your capital instead of shit coins like euros and dollars because there is no tokenomics behind those shit coins like you are analyzing all the nfts and other shit coin projects in the crypto space you're like ah, no tokenomics oh no tokenomics ah, that is a scam oh this is a scam the biggest scam is euro and dollar this is printed out of thin air there's nothing backing up the euro and dollar the whole world is going to go bankrupt if they keep pumping that bubble full with fake money out of thin air and you don't refer to that as a shit coin. So for me, go all into Bitcoin. That will save you from losing buying power in the future and will give you and maybe the next generation a beautiful life because you were the ones that had the guts to buy Bitcoin in those years that it still was tiny, tiny, tiny. But this is going to be the biggest one of the world in my opinion. So let's see how that will evolve. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about this? Are you going to exchange everything? Sell your bike, your toys, your car, your house, whatever you want to go on to Bitcoin? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, by the way, of course, it's not financial advice. It's just a Bitcoin dude living a Bitcoin life and sharing his experience on what he has been doing and how it has worked out for him beautifully. Traveling around the world, uh, more than seven years 42 countries with a family of five ask your parents how much that will cost and then you understand that what we have been doing is the right way thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again Bam.